this aspect, this is a very good conversation uh, topic that we picked up today. And because this, if you, you understand, if one person understands what we're talking about and the entire, the concept of it, but then if you look back, a, a lot of different enlightened beings, a lot of masters, free beings that visited on this planet, they referred to this. They referred to, maybe they used different kind of language, wording, but they were pointing out, like Osho, when we talk about being multidimensional being, it always uh, uh, makes me think of one of my spiritual teachers, Osho. Uh, when Osho talks about Zorba the Buddha, be like Zorba the Buddha. And uh, I don't know how many of you know about Zorba. Um, no? Uh, the, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Praga. Hi. <laughs> you, you, you know Zorba the Buddha. <laughs> yes, I know. But right now I'm also experiencing quite intense times. <laughs> yeah. Not only celebrating. <laughs> yeah. And, and you know, that's a part of life. And uh, that it's not always celebration. You know, I mean, maybe we call it the good times. <laughs> it's the recognition that the uh, living in third dimension is a it's a part of the package. It's always it's not always gonna be going the direction you want it to go. It's it has ups and downs, and. Uh, and recognizing that and allowing that, that it's okay. Not being, being stuck on this idea that if, you, if you're enlightened or if you're a highly evolved being, you shouldn't have ups and downs, life's ups and downs. It should always be fun and party. And that's not true, because that's not what, what we experience. If you don't experience it, then it's just a concept. It, it's not your reality. The reality of this life, this dimension, it, it has ups and downs. You go through different periods. You go through periods that, excuse me, I need to wait for this plane to pass. <laughs> yeah, you, we, you go through periods that um, your body may get sick and you're going through a period of health issues. Now this may go on for six months or a year or two or whatever. It's, how do you deal with it? How do you perceive it? The way you deal with it and the way you perceive it is the difference. Because that's something out of your control. And there's nothing you can do about it. You're, somehow, your body got sick. And it, it slows you down and it forces you to deal with it. Maybe your whole hormonal balances change. Uh, something happened. Uh, whatever, you got a virus, you got a disease, there's a malfunction. Who knows? All, all kinds of things happen. So sometimes it's a physical thing. Sometimes events happen. Uh, we got in a car accident and you got disabled. And now you have to go through a couple years of rehabilitation it's not party time you know your arms not working your mouth is like this you can't eat you can't 
process things. You need help. You have to keep working on, on your body. That's part of life. That can happen to anybody, an enlightened being or, or not. So what we do is most of us, we beat ourselves up about that if I'm living life and if I'm a highly evolved being, I shouldn't go through ups and downs of life. And that's an idea that we have. But ups and downs of life are for everybody. I don't care if you evolve or not. It's how you perceive it. That's the difference. You allow what is going on. You see it, that's a part of the function of totality that now things are not going your way and everything seems like a struggle can you stay into it can you just write it and maintain your level of awareness to be just simply aware of what is happening or you're going to identify with a certain idea of how it should be versus how it is. It shouldn't be this way. Why is this happening to me? I'm being punished by God. I probably have not done my spiritual work I wouldn't be going through what I'm going through. So something's wrong with me. Or instead of simply being aware, the awareness is here of the ups and downs of life. And being in this place of acceptance, accepting it and not beating ourselves up. One moment, please. I need to get my Instagram going again. I'll be right with you. Okay. Um, I have you unmuted okay <laughs> um, I what's really difficult right now is like that I can't define it it's so overwhelming that I pick up um, a lot of intensity okay and, um, yeah it makes me cry and even I but I can't say like I'm wrong or this is happening or it's it seems to be nothing <laughs> and yeah. at the same time it's pretty intense so i'm not sleeping very well right now i'm aware of it and uh, yeah it's a challenge to just uh, maintain my day let's say and uh, sometimes i can't do it the way i uh, think i should do it right. but i i can allow that yeah so it's not right. that I can't, but it's like today it was so strong that I really felt like, wow, I would not like to live any longer. And this was really wow. strong. <laughs> yeah. wow. Not yeah. to get identified when you come to this level of thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. 